The time right now is 5.46. Now, normally, we'd go live to this guy right here, Ryan Dean, for a report right now. But we've got a bit of a surprise for him. Yes, we do, Ryan. And that is because today is Ryan's last day mm -hmm. at KSDK. After more than a decade of serving the city of St. Louis and the surrounding area. So, Ryan, we thought maybe we would go into the archives a little bit and pull out some of your old footage. What do you think? <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. A little loud in here. Check it out. We got the band here, Hazelwood Central. Here's the crowd this morning. Come on, come on. Look at this crowd. Hazelwood Central. The Hawks are in the building. It's going to be a good prep rally Friday. See you the next hour. Everybody looks fantastic. Deacon joins big brother Jack. Ryan said Jack's still getting used to his new role. Jack held him for 30 seconds and said, I'm done. <laughs> everyone is asking today. Did you see it? The great eclipse of 2017 has come and now gone, and after months of anticipation, the eclipse finally reached totality. And it looked to be a different experience aboard an Alaska Airlines flight over the uh, Pacific, but this was a chartered flight. Check out what they got to see. It came with a price though. One couple actually paid $21,000 for seats on the chartered flight, and they say they got their money's worth. I can tell you, I did not see that. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I think folks enjoy the cosmic cocktails. Right, we were so you. excited for you, Ryan. Like, you're going to have That's the bad. best scene out of all of us. Oh, man. To be fair, <laughs> it was a regularly scheduled flight. It wasn't okay. a chartered flight. And Southwest did not promise you would see uh, oh. you know, the eclipse. And <laughs> were you sleeping? Is that was that the happened? worst. <laughs> you know what's funny? I went on the Southwest flight to see the, the eclipse. That was my assignment. I was so excited. And everybody's talking about this life-changing moment they mm -hmm. had. I mean, Casey Nolan was hugging his parents on air. <laughs> Randy, you were crying. I, I saw nothing. I mean, nothing. The whole flight. And I was such a bummer. <laughs> uh, Brian, oh you goodness, have to share hey. uh, with our viewers where you and Dana and the boys are heading. Yeah, so, uh, you know, after being here for 14 years, uh, 10 of those years with uh, today in St. Louis, uh, I am heading back to my hometown or near my hometown. I grew up in the Syracuse, New York area, central New York, uh, upstate for those who are familiar with uh, New York, and I'll be staying on the morning show. I'll be a morning anchor there. So uh, still my alarm clock will go off at 3 o'clock in the morning or 2.30 in the morning, <laughs> but uh it's bittersweet for sure. It's great to go home. It's great to give my parents that grandparent experience. Mm -hmm. They've been away from their, their grandkids. But, um, you know, I wasn't born here. This is not uh, home, but, mm -hmm. it, you know, my roots are here as far as just being on the plant roots here for the last 14 years. The people of St. Louis have been so, so good to me, and I just want to thank you so much for that. Well, Ryan, it's been a stone cold blast having you on the show, seeing you in the newsroom back when I was doing sports and talking sports with you. Best of luck to you and the family, my friend. We love you. All right. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Love you guys, too. Thank the you. The Dean team. <laughs> Can't believe you guys are leaving.